everyone. Guess what time it is? Can you guess? Haley's going to make her buffalo pasta. Buffalo chicken pasta. Yay! So let's get right to it. Hi, Haley. Hi. You want to tell them what all you're putting in it first? Um, okay. Okay, so it's not blurry now. All right, so 12.5 ounce can of the chicken, eight ounces of cream cheese. Well, you're not putting cream cheese. How much cream cheese are you putting in there? Um, you put six ounces. So two ounces are gonna be left. Roughly. So like that. That's all that you leave out. Why don't you just put it all in there? Cause I mean, I we did it one time and it was really like it was oh, too strong. Oh, okay. Then we got some Hidden Valley Ranch. You can use any kind of ranch. Hot sauce. You can use any kind of hot sauce you want. She likes the bow ties. And then we have medium cheddar and mozzarella. You can mozzarella. use any kind of cheese, though. Yeah, you can use any cheeses, the kind that you guys like. And if you What's like, the sugar over there for? That that was on the counter. Oh, okay. You so you're not tea. using that. You were making tea, weren't you? No, I'm making coffee right oh, now. Oh, well, you said you were making tea. So, that, so first, you want to boil the pasta. Boil the pasta. Show them the bow ties. Aren't they pretty little bow tie? Oh, it's blurry again. Little bow ties. She's gonna boil those and get those ready, um, and then after after that's done, that's when you mix everything. Yeah. Um. This. I mean, you could use half a box for what? Well, we, that's what we use. Half a box for. Wait. For three is that all you're using? Is half a box for three people? Yeah. And then the more you want to make, I use a little bit more than half a box because I like a lot of pasta. Okay. But. Is that pan big enough for the pasta? Yeah. Okay. So she said about a half a box or, or a little bit more for three people. But I mean, you know, if we make a pan that big, that could probably feed four people. I mean, I usually do about that much. Okay. I like a lot of pasta. So. so she's going to boil that and then I will. I can mix it now. Be right back. Okay. So Haley is ready to. Um, Mix everything up, and she's going to. We're just going to leave the camera here. And she will. She will explain and show you guys. I'm getting a cup of coffee. Don't get anything in my soda. Please don't get anything in your soda. Yes. That's my soda. Oh, thank you. Think. You don't want me to pour coffee in there? No thanks. All right. First, I'm going to take the cream cheese and cut the six ounces off. Is this bow tie for your shirt? Yep. Bow tie for your shirt. She left it on the counter. Lily will eat it. Okay. So, six ounces of cream cheese. If I can get it open. that up just a little bit. That battery's pretty good. Huh? See, this was all the Botox pasta we had. But it? Yeah. in front of the camera. Almost you almost melted it, huh? Well, I mean, you can melt it, but it, it stirs here easier. Okay, before you do anything, let me change the battery. All right, okay. make sure it's seeing what you're doing. Okay. Should we tilt it some more? I don't know, but I should probably put that in the bag, shouldn't I? Yeah. Put the leftover cream cheese in a bag. Doesn't go bad. Assistant, put that in the fridge, please. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then you get a big fork and you take one fourth cup of ranch. Do I really need the measuring cups? No, you don't need the measuring cups. Just tell them what you need. Well, you can do as much or as little as you want, but it's one fourth cup of ranch, and then however much hot sauce you want. 
We don't want a lot. I do. Not too much. I won't really eat it. I think it, it calls for half a cup, but you can use however much or little you want. Oh, goodness. That's not that much, especially with all the cream cheese. And then mix it up. So it's almost like making buffalo chicken dip? It's basically exactly like making buffalo chicken dip. You just don't put the chicken in here yet or the cheese. Oh, we got the camera on the wrong side again because you're left-handed. Yep. It's, I mean, you could make it that way if you wanted to. Like, make the buffalo chicken dip and then put the pasta in it. Let me put this over here so you can get you this direction because she's a lefty. It'd be quicker, but I don't know how good it would be. It might, it probably would taste the same, but it, the cheese wouldn't melt right and everything. So I don't know. But it'd be easier. I just like to be extra. I like to be extra. Okay. Now taste test. Uh-uh. It's yeah. gonna be too spicy for no, me. It's not. I don't think it's spicy enough. It's way too spicy. No, it's not. Don't put no more. I want some dinner. There is absolutely no spice to that, but okay. There's spice. Graham is a very weak, spicy person. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, well that's all I can do for now. Alright, because the we'll cheese isn't after. Bye. It is recording. The pasta is done. So now we put it through a strainer. I forgot to paint the oven. Make sure you preheat the oven to 350 before you do this. Because I did not. Now we are going to take the chicken. And now you take a fork and you shred the chicken in the can so it's not in big chunks. And then you dump it in the pasta. Once the chicken is stirred in, you take the mixture that we made and pour that in as well.
alarm going off. Get that part out. Yep. It's like 6 p.m. Why is there an alarm going off? Got alarm clocks going off at 6 p.m. now, apparently. And then lastly, you add some sprinkle cheese. And I'm going to use medium cheddar. And mozzarella. And this part, it just depends on how cheesy you like it. If you like it really cheesy, then add more. If you like it less cheesy, then add less. Make sure you put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan or spray it with Pam because that's easier, but we don't have any right now. So I'm just going to put a little bit there and take a paper towel and wipe it around. I don't think you can even see what I'm doing, but I'm just oiling the pan. Pasta mixture into it. And spread it out. And your last step is you're gonna take that cheese again and spread it on the top. Now you pop it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and then it's done. And while you're waiting for the oven to preheat when you forgot to preheat it, get back over here. Mm -hmm. Get back over here. This is what you do. You eat the pasta out of the bowl or the buffalo chicken. No, it was the pasta. I always eat oh, it was a the bit. Ah. So she's just eating it. She won't even be hungry when it's done. Yes, I will. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It looks good. So, next video, you're going to make some quesadillas? Possibly. Tyler's going to cook on the grill. Haley's going to make some quesadillas. I kind of want to make a plain one. A plain what? Quesadilla? Mm -hmm, like with just chicken and cheese because earlier it was real spicy. Oh. All right. It's getting ready to go in the oven. It's buffalo chicken pasta and hello! While we wait for the buffalo chicken pasta, I decided I'm gonna make a quesadilla with chicken and cheese because Graham didn't try it earlier. Well, the other one I made was spicy, but this one will not be spicy. So, you need a little bit of butter, some more cheese, and chicken. So first, I'm going to take the tortillas, well, one tortilla at a time. I'm going to take a little bit of butter off the hot pan. I'm take a butter knife and put a little bit in there. 
And when I mean a little bit, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Huh? I'm not cutting the pan. <laughs> what? No. Butter in the pan. Is this hot? No. Okay. I can put it here. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to use a spatula to speed this process up a little bit. With this, it doesn't matter. Okay, once the butter is melted, you take a tortilla. And for some reason, these ones have a cut on them, but that's okay. And just let it cook. And once you see bubbles coming up, well, at least you should see small bubbles coming up, then you flip it. Bad smoke brings spirits to you. Bad smoke. That is bad smoke. Tortilla needs flips. Oh, that's a nice tortilla. Look at the nice tortilla. Nice tortilla. 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 I'm very impatient when it comes to cooking, and that is a good side too. So it is time to switch. Ah! Better won't be placed. So I guess it's going on the pan. More butter. Sizzle! Not very much butter, but that's okay. Now we take other tortilla and cook it. Now we put chicken on it. I'm just gonna split these pieces in half so they're not so big. And just put them all over the tor er, tortilla? Yes, tortilla. Okay, now I'm going to take the cheese and put a bunch of cheese in. Now some mozzarella. There we 
always standing under my feet waiting for something to drop. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other cooked tortilla and place it on top. Then I'm going to let it sit for a moment and then flip it. Attempt to flip it. Oh, the tortilla is getting crispy. I'm gonna. Oh god. Okay. Flip. There we go. I have done it. It's a little burnt, but it's okay. It will survive. While we are waiting for that cheese to melt, our buffalo chicken pasta is done. And it smells very yummy. I believe this cheese is melted. So I think I'm gonna take it off, or take it out. Okay, it's quite melted, but not all the way, so we're gonna wait. Once you believe the cheese is not good enough, you're going to take it, and it is not even, and that is going to bother me. Okay. Boom. Done. We have our tortilla and our pasta. And now we're gonna take a pizza roller or a pizza cutter, whatever it's called, if I can find one. What the fuck are you doing? I'm recording and you just said that. Graham, Tyler said a bad word. No, I did not. If you listen, I said flop. Uh-huh. I'm it. sure you did. Graham's not gonna leave that in anyways, it doesn't matter. I doubt it. is done. Our meal is done, Graham. Pasta. Goodbye. Okay, everyone. I didn't get a fork. There's the buffalo chicken pasta. And Haley also, let's see. I took a bite of it already. I cheated. Alright, so there is the buffalo chicken pasta. And there is the cheese quesadilla. It's got chicken on it. We are going to do the taste test. How's yours? I made it. It's good. All right, it's blurry, Haley. Okay, so we're going to try the buffalo chicken pasta. Here we go. I know it's going to be too hot because she puts too much it hot sauce in It is not even spicy there. at all. I didn't, my mouth is Here it is. It's good. It's not at all spicy. It's not that spicy. It's, it's good. It always loses spices once it goes in the oven. And then she made cheese and quesadillas. Chicken. And oh, chicken's in here too? Mm -hmm. Did you film all this? Mm -hmm. Cheese and chicken quesadillas. 
So let's try one of these. Wow. It's just plain, but it's good. As I say, this is not buffalo. I like this. I told you I didn't make it buffalo. I like this a lot. It reminds me of the ones that we had at Applebee's. Remember? It does. Or chilies. That's what it was. I wouldn't dip it in ketchup, though. I think guacamole to dip it in. Or even ranch would be good. Mm-mm. I don't want ranch. It's really good, guys. Mmm. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed cooking with Haley. If you want her to do some more cooking, let her know in the comments below. It's really good though. Bye guys. Did you contour today? Did I contour? Does it look like it? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Does it look pretty? Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like blush. I contoured today, guys. I didn't even know it. Who's the other time? Because it's darker. It's blush. <laughs> but if you want to call it contoured, I contoured. It's a really dark blush. Do you like it? Does it look pretty? It does look good, but it's very dark blush. I look pretty. Blush Yay! In a flush of color and contour, of course, like two cheekbones. So really, it looks like a contour? Kind of. Contour. Cool. I mean, it really does because it's meant to go from the top of your ear to the top of like your right here. Mm -hmm. Your lip, not all the way down here, like, but that's where you would contour. Oh. And then around. Here, that's where you put blush too. Well, blush goes like, on the apples of your cheeks. Right here. On the apples. Yes. Blush goes on your apples, guys. On the apples. Look, all you see is my downside. <laughs> Get in here. I am in here. Come a little closer. Okay. Oh, did you get me a fork? Yes. Why is this stupid thing blurry all the friggin' time? Damn it. Cut that part out. It shouldn't be.